getting to 10, okay? We're gonna look at 10 frames and we're gonna see the best way that we can make a 10. Because if we can make a 10, when we add two numbers or even three numbers, that makes it easier to add, right? Because mm -hmm. what do we get when we add to a 10? What kind of number? We could get a 20 if we add a two digit, right? But let's just say we add 10 plus six. What's that gonna be? 16. Because all I'm doing is changing which place of that number? The zero, which is the one. Thank you. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you. First time I'm gonna show you two cards. Okay, two cards. So I have a 10 frame on the top and I have a 10 frame on the bottom. Right now, how many spots do I have? If I have two 10 frames, how many spots do I have all together? 20. 20, thank you. Now, let's talk about ways we can see this number and how we can see these dots, okay? So, Dane, tell me one way you see these dots. Um, if you, your spot's an eight, and eight plus two equals 10. Very eight. nice. So he sees eight in the top, and he sees two in the bottom, and that right there he knows makes 10. What could I do with those to get rid of a 10 frame? Bailey, what could I do with those to get rid of a 10 frame? Um, you could put those two dots up there, and it could make a new math fact 10. Um, minus zero equals 10. Okay, so I could move these two dots up here to this 10 frame. So look right there, I'm gonna cross that out. I'm gonna just get rid of that card. And I'm gonna put those dots right there. And my new math fact would be just 10 plus zero equals 10. Could I do 10 minus zero and still get 10? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. If I didn't have a 10 frame to look at on this card, what number would I start at to do eight plus two? What number would I start at to do eight plus two? Eight. All right, do it for me. Eight, nine, Very nice. Eight, nine, ten. ten. Very nice. Let's do another one. Do another one. Here we go. Let me look at what cards I need. All right, I'm going to add a third card. I'm going to add a third card to the mix. So now I have, let me zoom them in where you can see them. Now I have three cards, which makes how many all together? So how many does that make all together? Benjamin. 30. Right. Ooh, that's glaring. It. it makes 30 all together. Okay? So if I have, I can figure that out by going. Sorry, guys. Let me get it where you can see. There we go. Maybe. I'm going to walk this line. If I wanted to find out how many that is all together, what could I skip count by? 10. 10. Let's do it. Here we go. 10, 10 20, 30. Very nice. Now, are all of those 10 frames full? No. No. How many's in that first 10 frame? Eight. eight. Very good. How many's in that middle 10 frame? Four. Do eight and four make a 10? No. No. Oh, they don't make 10, do they? What's in that bottom 10 frame? Two. two. Huh, and we just did eight plus two, and what did eight plus two make? Ten. So what can we do, Matthew? 10 plus four equals. How do I make 10 though, buddy? Oh, put the bottom two on the, uh, on the top. All right, once again, I'm gonna get rid of this bottom, these bottom two, and I'm just gonna put that card to the side, but can I forget to move those dots? No, because no, if I don't move those dots, my answer is not going to be correct, is it? All right, so when I move those dots, those correct ones represent what I move. Now, Matthew, I have what? Uh, 10 plus, plus 4 equals 14. Very nice. And when you see, I'm going to move the 10 frames out of the way for a second. When you see 10 plus 4 as a problem, just like that, if I look at, when I add this, where do I start? 10. I do start at 10. Riley, model how I would start at 10. 10, 10 11, 12, 15, 14. Bopping and counting, all right? Or I can just remember that whenever I add a 1 to a 10, what do I do, Sadie? 
remove that zero and you just put a four. So zero plus four equals four. four. Very nice. One plus zero, because there's nothing there, right? So that means zero equals four. one. And then I have a four. 14, and that would be my team number that I made. Okay. Could Let's you, do another one. Could you skip count by that one? Do what, honey? Could you skip count by that one? You could if the four was in the tens place. Okay? Because if the four was in the tens place, you could go 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay? All right. But that one, and that could be, that would be, that goes into double digit, Bailey girl. But we could do that. Let's just see. This is not going to be 40, but if you skip counted four times, let me clarify. If you skip counted by 10 four times, if you have four dimes, because we've been talking about money, if you have four dimes, how much money do you have? 40. 40 what? 40. Very good. You don't have $40, do you? No. Okay, so that, Bailey, would be a good way to bring it in when it comes to money, right? But if you move the four, like Miss Ashley said, over, you'd really just be adding 10. You know how we add 10 right off the top of our head? Yeah, so you would do, your zeros would go zero plus zero equals zero. 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 And one plus four equals five. five. So what would your answer be? 50. 50. Very good. Whoa. So I just wanted to clarify that, okay? Because we've been talking about dimes, so we have been skip counting. All right, so let's do another one. Okay, I'm going to keep this little end card because I like it. How many dots is on that card? Four. Four. Now I'm going to add another one. Do you see ten? Do you see a way to make ten? Yes. Ten birds speak very nice and loud for me. Take them four and put them on the bottom and it'll make a ten. Take these four and move them to the bottom. Can I show you that with my red marker? Yes. Yes. I'm going to take one, two, three, four. I'm going to plug those in right down there. And then I have two. ten. <laughs> now, how many different ways could you think of as a math fact to see what you could have done? So think about how many black there are, how many red there are. Our original math fact was what, Blaine? Equals. Very nice. Our original one is six plus four because I have five and one, and that makes six. And then I have four red dots, and six plus four we know is two of those good friendly numbers that help us get right to ten, don't they? But then could you also change it around? Yeah. We have six plus four, but what else would equal the same? Four plus six. Thank you. What is that called? Um, switching the math fact around. Switching the math fact around, which is, means that this math fact is a part of a fact family. Fact family, very nice. So I could do six plus four <laughs> equals ten. I could do four plus six equals ten. Ten. What's that? Another minus. 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 Tay Tay, share me one. Ten minus, minus six equals four. Or you could do ten minus four. Um, equals six. Very nice. So if you can just know those three numbers involved, when you make that ten, you just came up with four different facts that represent that, that ten frame right there. Right? Now, of course, we could always do ten plus zero. Okay? Because we made a ten. But the important thing is to know what two numbers made the ten. What did we put together to make the ten? Because whenever you add that third number in, it's nice to have that ten to work with, isn't it? Yeah, that 10 makes things easy. All right, let's do one more. So this time I'm going to add a third card. And I'm going to keep that one. Here are my other two. Okay. What? Oh, you cannot see those, can you? What can I do? On this side, how many dots? How do you see them? Okay, now keep in mind how many total could we have if all of these dots were full? 
30. 30, once again, because we, I mean, we have how many 10 frames? Three. Three. Let's get count 10 three times. Here you go. Ready? 10, 10 20, 30. 30. So a ten, those 10 frames help us count by 10 easy when they are, when they are, how do they have to look? To count by 10, that, that 10 frame has to be full. full. It has to be full. So our goal is to try to fill a 10 frame, right? That's what we want to do, because if we can fill that 10 frame up, then we can use that 10 to add quicker, okay? Riley, tell me what you think about this one. So, um, so it's like, it's like See those five up there? I do. Um, um, can you take away four and put it on that ten frame for we can make it ten for it to be easier to I add? can. I like how you said only take away four because why can we not take all five? Because there's only four more spaces. There's only four more spaces. So let's fill that space up. Alright, now what do I do with this one? Um, now you can take that one and put it down there with the three. That way I and get that, myself to how many ten frames to look at? Um, two. Two, very and then good. you add ten plus four equals fourteen. Very nice. I add ten plus four and I get fourteen. Tay-Tay, do you, I need to rewrite for you to share your strategy? All right, I'm going to erase and let you tell me what you're thinking because there's more than one way here, right? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and tell me what you're thinking on this one. It's kind of like <coughs> well and you put it 16. Okay, go ahead. But um, the middle one, you take away the 6 one, and you add those 5 to the top, and you know 10, and you add that 1 to the bottom. Okay. And you know 10 plus 4 is 14. So very similar, right, Tay Tay? Mm -hmm. So what you did is you took that double. You saw that double. What double makes 10? Five. Five plus five. Very nice. So she took all five away from that top row, and she put them right here. So like she said, very similar to what Riley did, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then she's going to move this dot down here, just like Riley. And both of them got narrowed it down to 10 plus Four. four, and we still get 14, right? Yeah. So no matter what way you move these numbers around, can you still get 14? Yes. Yeah. Let's go one more time with this card, and let's just pull the numbers out and see what they look like as a fact, okay? So how many is on this card? Six. 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 All right, I'm going to write that on my dry erase board. All right, I'm going to add those. So six. How many is on this card? Five. Okay. And how many is on this card? Three. Three. All right. So let's just say you're not always going to see them on a 10 frame, are you? You're sometimes going to have to just bop and count, move numbers around. What could you do looking at it like this? Instead of using these 10 frame dots, what could you do? Kata, you look anxious. Let's do it. If you put 6 equals 9, then you just, you know, you take 10, 10 plus 5 equals 15, and you just take away 1 and it equals nine, um, 14. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So what he just did is 6 plus 3 equals 9, nine. and then we are stuck with 9 plus 5. Now, how he used that is he pretended that that was 10 because he knows that 10 plus 5 gives him 15. But since it wasn't 10, all he had to do was drop his answer up or down. 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 Because it's 9 greater or less than 10. Less. 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 That is wonderful. I love that. I love, love, love that. So he would know that if once again, and he could just imagine that that was a 10, he have 10 plus 5, which gives me 15. Drop it down 1 to, what's my answer? 14. 14. Very, very good. All right, Briley, do you have one more way of doing this? Yeah. Do you want to share? Yes, All right, let me rewrite. 6 plus 5 plus 3. All right, go for it. I actually have two ways. Can I show the two ways? You I can. Um, so 6 
you see if we just take one and add it to the six that equals seven okay. and add the two to the five because um seven seven plus seven means it's fourteen. My other way was very cool, very cool. My other way was six plus five equals eleven and eleven plus um three equals fourteen. How did you know that six plus five equaled eleven like that? Uh, because you know five plus five equals ten and one more equals eleven. So what is she using? Double. A double. Did y'all see how she used a double? Mm -hmm. So just kind of like what we just did just now with Kata, she used a double but just in a different way. So she knows that five plus five gives her ten but that's not a five is it? What is it? Six. So I've got to move it up, because that number is greater or less than? Greater. Greater. So instead of 5 plus 5 equals 10, we change our answer to 6 plus 5 equals 11. Now, do you have to change it right then? Like, can you wait till you get to the very end? Why not? Math is full of possibilities, isn't it? Okay, so let me show you that. If I wanted to do what Briley just did, I could change this to a five, and I could add that one that I took away to where? To the three. To the three. Thank you, Bailey. So now I have five plus five equals? Four, ten. ten. Thank you. Don't get too far ahead. Five plus five equals ten. And then I don't want to forget about this four. What does ten plus four equal? Fourteen. Fourteen. So we know if we can make a ten, whether it's using doubles, whether it's using a 10 frame, whether it is counting on. If we can make a 10, it makes adding quicker, okay? Makes our math fluency faster, okay? So our goal when we're adding, especially when you're thrown three numbers, is to see if you can find a 10, or if you can find a five plus five, six plus six, what are those? A double. A double. Because if you can find a double, you can adjust, right? We do that all the time. We know that four plus four equals eight. So four plus five equals? Nine. Nine, very good. So four plus four equals eight. So four plus five would equal nine. All right, so remember when we're adding or when we're working with these numbers, find that 10. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right, we're going to take a restroom break.